Wow, just got back from having a great run. I'm gonna be joining the traveling T Fox crew for the Terry Fox run. It's gonna be Sunday, September 20th. Now, do you guys know Terry Foxes? This guy over here? Well, you know what? My friend Daisy, she's gonna tell you all about it. Hi, Anthony. I would love to tell you about Terry Fox, and I'd also love to tell you about the impact that Terry Fox has had on my life. So I am wearing this red Terry Fox shirt, which many of you will probably see this time of year, especially around the Terry Fox run day that will be happening next Sunday. Uh, but I want to tell you a little bit about the red shirt. It really does signify and symbolize something very important. Um, not everybody will be wearing a red Terry Fox shirt. and You might be wondering why. Well, the red Terry Fox shirt actually indicates somebody who has been diagnosed with cancer and who has been helped by various organizations such as the Terry Fox Foundation and um, the donations that have been raised for cancer research. So when you see a red Terry Fox shirt like this, it might not have this actual image, but any Terry Fox shirt from any year, it indicates that that person was diagnosed with cancer and is living proof of where the hard work through research and fundraising has gone. Now, I'm very privileged to be able to stand here in front of you um, being diagnosed not just once, but actually twice with two different types of cancer. My first cancer was actually the same type of cancer as Terry Fox, osteogenic sarcoma or bone cancer. Now, we know what happened to Terry and his leg. I'm here to tell you that the work that has been done since Terry's time has made a huge difference. I didn't have to lose my leg. I didn't have to have a prosthetic leg. My leg is a very special one because I have something called an endoprosthesis inside my left leg. So there's an image that you'll see that will show you what's inside my leg. Other than that, all you will see on my leg is this long scar. I am able to walk and drive and um, do some things that I thought I wouldn't have been able to. But because of this leg that I have, because of the funds raised for cancer research, I really am so grateful for what um, everyone is doing and that's one of the reasons why I want to give back, just like Terry Fox. If we think about Terry Fox, he was just an ordinary person who just wanted to do something to help others. He had no idea that what he did so long ago, running the Marathon of Hope, getting people to talk about cancer, getting people to raise money for cancer research, Terry would have had no idea that I'd be standing here today in 2020 with a very special leg on the inside of my actual leg. Terry, as I said, was just an ordinary person just like me and you, and he just decided to do something extraordinary. And he set his goals, he persevered, and it really was all in the name of helping other people and what he could do to um, support cancer research. So it kind of is up to us to keep Terry Fox's legacy going and his marathon of hope going. We know that Terry couldn't make it from one side of Canada to the other. He made it um, to Thunder Bay in Ontario um, as he went on that long journey of 143 days. Um, it's our job to finish that marathon of hope for him. And how can we do that? We can do that by donating to cancer research and by taking part in the Terry Fox run in your community. Or if your school's doing one virtually, you can also join that one as well. This year, it is a virtual Terry Fox run. So there really is so many opportunities in how we can help make a difference. Every loony, toony, whatever you can give, it makes a difference and I'm living proof. So Anthony, that is why Terry Fox is so important to me. That's why this red shirt is so special to me. And I'm so thankful that we get to learn how to draw Terry Fox today because he really is a true Canadian hero. All right, thanks Daisy. So boys and girls, today we're gonna be drawing a true superhero, a true Canadian icon, Terry Fox. And what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a piece of paper, you're gonna need a pencil with an eraser. You need um, a marker or a black sharpie, uh, and you need something to color with. 
So you need some markers, pinch crayons, or crayons. All right, so boys and girls, let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna draw a circle for the eye. And we'll draw another circle over here. And we're gonna draw two smaller circles. We'll have one on this side. And the other over here. And we're gonna draw the pupils. And we'll do the same on this side. Now we're just going to take a moment to color the space in here. And we'll do the same on this side. Next is we draw a circle for his nose. And we're gonna give him a little smile. And we'll have a line here and a line over here. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna draw the rest of his smile. We can also draw a line for his teeth and a line over here for his tongue. And we're also going to give him some eyebrows. So we're going to go one, two, and three. And we'll do the same over here. Two and three. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw the side of Terry Fox's face. So we'll have a line over here. And then we'll have a line. It's going to bend a little bit. And it's going to stop just under the mouth. And now we'll have a line on this side. So we'll up right above the and then we're going to have a little space and we're going to draw a line that's going to look like that. Now this little space here, we're going to draw his ear. So it's going to go around. And then a line that's going to join like this. Cool. Now Terry Fox has really curly hair. So we're going to draw his hair now. So we're going to start, we're going to have a line that's going to swoop like this here. Then we have a line that's going to swoop around like this. And then we'll go one and two. Now on this side, it's going to be kind of similar. Now for the top of his hair, we're going to start over here, we're going to have a line that's going to go up and around. We'll have another line to go around. And then bend around like this here. Now we'll have a line. Oh, 
kind of looks like waves. Now to finish this part, we'll go one, two, and three. Cool. Now we're gonna do something similar on the other side. So we'll start at the bottom of the hair. So it's gonna come out like this here. We'll have a line to swoop up over here. So go around. And to join the top is just and go around and join like that. Cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw Terry Fox's neck. So we'll have a line over here. And we'll do the same on this side. And we're just gonna draw a little line. Just gonna go around like that. We'll draw another line over here. And we'll draw his t-shirt. So the arms of the t-shirt is gonna be two lines like this. And we'll also do the same on this side. Actually, I'll make this one a little bit longer. There we go. And we'll have a line on each side like this. Now, for the rest of the shirt, we're going to go one. shorts so a line over here and a line here and we'll draw the bottom of the shorts like this a little line here and it's just gonna draw like that cool. so we're gonna go to his um, we're going to draw his leg, so we'll have two little lines here, and we'll have a line that goes down to here, and same on this side. And we'll draw a little line over here, kind of on a slant. And another line, so this is going to be his sock. And for his foot, we'll go one, two, three, and four. Now we'll draw a line here at the bottom. So this is going to be the sole of the shoe. And we'll draw the tongue of the shoe over here. And we're just gonna add three stripes. Now, very fun. Have the aesthetic leg. So we're gonna start by drawing a line here. And for a shoe, go one, two, three, and four. 
now we're off to draw the sole of the shoe. We'll draw the tongue over here. And we'll also add in the three stripes. Now we're going to draw his, uh, his arms, so we'll start by drawing his hand. We're going to have a little half circle here, so let's talk about there. And for fingers, a line that goes around like that. And for the arm, we'll go one. The forearm is going to have a line that's going to bend like this, and a line that will join over here. And we're going to draw the other arm, so a line comes down to here, a line goes up. And so we're going to start by having a line that's going to bend around to about here. And we're going to draw it down. So we'll go one, two, and three. Now we'll draw it. His fingers, so one, two, and three. And we'll do that again. We'll go one, two, and three. And for his other two fingers, we'll go one, two, three. Cool. Now we can't forget to draw the maple leaf. So we're going to draw a maple leaf here in the middle of the shirt. So we'll go one, two, two. Then we'll draw two lines that kind of come together into a little point. And we'll do the same over here. So we'll go one, two, one, two, one, and two. And to finish our maple leaf, we'll just gonna draw the bottom. Awesome. So boys and girls, there we have it. We've just completed Terry Fox, a true Canadian hero. And for the coloring, you can color it as you see here, or you can color it however you like. Thanks a lot. I hope you guys all had a really good time. Take care, and God bless.